today about fork widths and anchor points um, there's a few differences of opinion when it comes to it um, some people say to keep the same anchor point across the board for every slingshot I disagree with that I think you should change your anchor points and let me tell you why my regular width frame is 95 millimeters wide uh, this is the Evo Ergo from Caddyshack, and it's 95 millimeters wide. Now, with that, my anchor point is right here underneath my cheekbone because that is a repeatable, easily repeatable spot when you get right there underneath the cheekbone. Um, but I like to switch it up. I shoot pickle forks. I shoot smaller frames like the Lion's Paw Pocket Shooter from RBA Catapults. Um, this 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 is the original, uh, so it's a little bit narrower than the ones that Moan is making now. But this comes in right around 72 or 73 millimeters wide. So instead of using this same under the cheek anchor and having to aim underneath the target, I want to use the tip of the fork as my reference point. So to do that, you have to change your anchor. Um, <clears throat> And I have dedicated anchors for certain fork widths. So see with the 95 mil, let's lift this pheasant head down here in the catch box with the 95 fork tip corner. And I'm dead on. Now, <clears throat> with the pocket shooter, I have to move my anchor point up. The wider the frame, the lower the anchor point for using the fork tip as a reference. The narrower the frame, the higher the anchor point. So for using, I'm going to shoot my pocket shooter, which this is one of my favorite little small frames. I move the anchor point up to on top of my cheek bone. Corner of the fork tip. And just like with the Evo, dead on once again. If you're wanting to use the corner of the fork tip, if you want to be able to put the corner of the fork tip on your target and shoot it, you're not going to have any choice but to move your anchor point. Um, and you need to experiment with that to find what works best for you. Like <clears throat> for me, um, the first frame that I made for myself was 85 millimeters wide. I didn't like the anchor point. Um, so I experimented with different fork widths and I found I wanted my anchor to be right here. So I found a frame to fit that and it was 95 millimeters wide. So ex get out, experiment with it. And once you find a fork width that you like, stick with it. Get your anchor point down and just shoot that. But don't try to keep the same anchor point for every frame. Um, if you do that already and it works for you, then fine. But for those of us that like to put the tip of the fork or whatever your sighting reference is on the target, change your anchor points. And <clears throat> if you want to get consistent and want to be able to use your fork tip as your sight, you're going to have to change your anchor for different width frames. That's just the nature of the beast. That's just the name of the game. But while, you're, while, you're, while you guys are messing around with fork widths and anchor points, I am going to shoot some targets. So get out there, shoot straight. Talk to you later.